Morning traders, and this is your Aussie South African Top 40 Day Trade Setup for today. So, as expected, we've got a, a bit of a continuation here, and I think the important factor here is that we've broken through this level. Now, this level of uh, 59.50, being the Aussie, it's, it's roughly, so it's 50, you could take it from 50, call it 5100, so from 5100 to 51950, that's kind of the, the zone. Uh, we, we bounced off the day before yesterday. Yesterday we sort of opened up above it and then drove below it. Okay. What we have done is close this one gap. And if you look carefully, you'll see there is a daily EMA there, 200 EMA. So I do suspect that we're going to get some buyers stepping in off this level of 54.27. And if you look to the left, you'll see there's a little bit of interaction, but it is messy, uh, very messy. But if you look here, you can see there's a lot of uh, congestion to the left here. So I do expect us to get some kind of a bounce off there uh, to test probably a lower time frame breakout. But uh, that's kind of what I'm seeing at the moment. So if we just break down to the three hour, the important factor is that we've finally broken through this level. So this messy daily backwards and forth should stop. Uh, we should start getting uh, some decent daily trends, at least one or two day trends now. So right now, no diversions. Uh, we do have, I think, ignore this last bar. I don't think that's valid data. We did have buyer step in. Uh, the US markets did fall substantially last night, so and just to see where 10 cents is, 10 cents is up 0.6% at the moment, Hang Seng's down 0.8%, but the US markets fell over a percent yesterday. So I wouldn't be too surprised to see us gap down, but because the dollar strengthened, uh, the Rand got hit a little bit, 14.35, it's sitting out at the moment. So that could sort of allow us to open uh, flattish, okay? Because we've got a stronger rand, even though the U.S. markets fell. So there's divergence here on the moving average. We've got a grouping of uh, oscillators. Uh, we are fairly close to a level here, so it wouldn't surprise me to see us bounce off one of these two levels, okay? In fact, uh, I'm we're going to be very tempted at. 54.27 is what we're looking for right here. I would be very tempted for a long at that level. Okay, let's just get to the hour. So everything is telling me I need to be looking for a level and we kind of have two levels here which are fairly significant. Okay, uh, I just want to get just double check if we don't have a weekly level there. Not really. Apart from there and monthly, nothing really. What a horrible chart on the monthly. Um, you can see the last three months, four months, big confusion. And that also bodes well for, if you look at the monthly, so up, down, up, down. So markets have inertia. What would you expect the next part of the pattern to be up okay so that's kind of where we are we do have a bit of a double top as well but anyway there's no real level in the monthly that mon monthly levels are further down around there okay so I'll definitely be looking taking a stab at a along if we do get down to these levels, which I do think we will. Um, if we get through them and we hold them, if we sort of get a, a one hour close or a 30 minute close below these levels, then uh, all bets are off and I'll wait for a bounce back for to get back onto the short. Okay, but for now I suspect we're gonna get some buyers stepping in here. Uh, 200 EMA is always something with buyers step off, especially on the daily, so that's what I'm looking for. 
Okay. Um, the other thing to, to just take note of is you have a bit of a channel here. So you can see you pretty much bounce back into this area would be bottom of channel as well. Okay. Um, oh, that's kind of my view at the moment. Uh, it'll probably be a short scalp. To be honest with you, it, I can't see it. Well, we could. We could sort of bounce back up to... Um, 5983 area or 5890 5900 I think is probably a safe bet. That would be a bounce back to that area and then another attack to get to the downside. Okay. But anyway guys, that's that my view for today. Um, I just want to see what happened with the the closing range. Okay, it did play out by the looks of things. Let's just double check. Uh, that was our range there. But and you can see range target was, well, second range target was hit, and then third range target, the downside, was hit. But you can see with the moving averages, trend was down, so... Uh, that was your trade with a trend and stay with a trend. Okay, until you get a crossover, you, you're kind of staying with a trend. Okay, so summary, pretty simple. Looking, go back to the half hour, so we're looking for price to bounce off this level. Um, probably a short scalp, or oh, sorry, a long scalp, back up to the moving averages, take profit. There's your entry there. Well, that's the breakout level. And if you use the, the closing range strategy, it should be just above the halfway line of the, the closing range, and then you're back in for your short. Or alternatively, just trade with a trend, wait for price to come back up on the pullback, and then get in for the short. Okay, so that's kind of the view that I have at the moment, but definitely looking for buyers to step in off this uh, 54.22. The only question is how far they're going to push it up, whether it'll go back to test a breakout or whether we get it, it forces a crossover of the moving averages on the lower time frames, which would then signify a potential trend change. Okay, anyway, guys, that's my view for today. I hope it helps and. Um, Stay safe, keep those stops tight, and I'll catch you guys later. Cheers for now.